Hey guys, and welcome to another Online Business Realm video. So today, we're going to be talking all things Amazon Associates or Amazon Affiliate Program. So if you're wanting to create Amazon links for people to click on, and then if they purchase something, you'll receive a little kickback or a little commission, the Amazon Associates, uh, Amazon Affiliate Program is the program for you. Amazon provides you with a program that allows you to place links on your blog, in your video descriptions on YouTube, or anywhere that you have a place on your website, and will allow you to advertise to your viewers or your audience and allow them to shop on Amazon like they normally would, click on a link and then you get a little kickback or a little commission for each purchase they make. So let's talk about getting the links and setting up the links for your website or blog or for your video descriptions in YouTube. How do we do that? So the first thing you need to do is sign up for an Amazon Associates page and basically Google Amazon Associates, go through the process, You know, make sure you provide them with your bank account information, uh, some information provided for taxes, things like that. And then once you're done with the sign up process, you'll be able to see this back end here that I see right here. Uh, you're logged in. And in order to get the links that you want to place on your website or descriptions for videos, whatever it may be, go up to product linking. And then you're going to see the different types of links that the Amazon Associates program provides to you. We're going to start with product links. So if we click on the product links option here, you're going to see where we can search for any product. So all we have to do now is search for a product. So if I want to say search for a Seagate uh, external hard drive or something like that, I'll type in Seagate. And then what I'll see is a bunch of different links to the specific items that I'm going to be linking to. So if you're doing a video about the Seagate Backup Plus Slim 2 terabyte, you'll want to utilize this link, obviously. So what you'll do to get a link to provide to your audience is to either do this, you can right click and then copy the link URL or go on over to the get link button, which is the orange get link button to the right of the specific product and then it'll open up this option here. Now you're going to see an HTML code. This will be if you want to directly place this image in this ad, which you're seeing right here, the live preview, you're going to see the text and image, okay? That's going to be the text and image. If you want just the text, click on this option here. Then that will just show the text here. But what I like to do is actually right click on the ad or the link and then go to copy link address right there. So now that I've copied that link address, that's going to have my affiliate code or the code that connects it to my account. That way I know I get commission if someone purchases something after clicking on this link. And a little pro tip, something you need to know, if someone clicks on your link and then closes Amazon, but then they come back like tonight or tomorrow morning and then purchase something on Amazon. It doesn't even have to be this product. You'll still get a commission for that, for sending those people to Amazon to go ahead and get them in the right state of mind to purchase products. So once you've right clicked on the item and then go to copy link address, if we paste it in say a text editor like I'm going to do now, what you will see is the exact link that you can use on your blog or video description, whatever you're wanting to do. And then it will also have your link code. So it'll say link code equals, and then it'll just say your link code right here. That's going to connect it to your Amazon Associates account. Now let's go to a WordPress post and I'm going to show you how you can implement this or put this within your blog. Okay, as you can see, I'm on my back end of my WordPress blog and I'm wanting to link the Seagate external hard drive. So as you can see, the text is right here. Now in order to paste that link, all I'll have to do is go and add it or insert the link or edit this specific link and then go ahead and paste that link that I copied from Amazon, put it here and then go ahead and go to apply. Now, whenever anyone is on my blog and they click on this specific link here, it's going to take them to that product page on Amazon. But if they purchase something, then I will again get the commission. So that's how you add a text link within a blog post. And it works the same way for a YouTube post. Basically, what you can do is just add the link in your video description and say, you know, purchase this item here and then copy and paste the link right beside it. Normally, I use like a URL shortener, like Google URL shortener to make sure that it doesn't look like that big, long, ugly link. It makes it look really concise and really professional. So you definitely want to do that when putting your links in your YouTube video descriptions to have people go. So if you're doing like a DIY or a custom project on your video, you can then in the description of your video, put all of the equipment or hardware or pieces of things that they'll need for that project in the description of your video. So that's how you do a text link there. Now, this isn't the only type of links you can provide to your audience. If we go back up to the option here where you see product linking, we can go to banners, which will be the 
other most recommended link to provide or add to your website or blog. Now, if we go to banners, we're going to be able to see a few different things. We have promotional links, which are like easy links. That's like updated links. You have gift cards. But if we scroll down below, you're going to see a few different things. So they have a new thing here called rotating banner campaigns by category. So basically, you can have an electronics category ad rolling and it will update basically every day to like the newest stuff in that specific category. So if we click on that category there, we're going to be taken over to the banner campaign and it'll show you exactly what this will look like. So it'll be a 300 by 250 right here. And then this here is the most important thing to understand. This is your HTML. This is what you will copy and paste within your WordPress or your blog that will allow this image or this ad to be shown on your website or blog. So if we copy that there and then go on over to our WordPress page right here, I'm under my appearance and then I'm under widgets and then I just add a text widget. As you can see, I've already drug it over here under my footer sidebar one and then I'll paste that HTML code as we saw there in the as Amazon Associates program. And then what you'll see here is it will also have my tracking ID. So if anybody clicks on that specific image, this ad right here, it will take them to the electronics hack category within Amazon. And once they purchase something, it will then be linked to me and I'll get a commission just like I would if they clicked on the text link. So basically what you need to understand is you have a tracking ID. As you can see here in the upper right hand corner, my tracking ID is YOUT03-20. So that's my tracking ID. So that's what's going to link you to the people who purchase items from your links. You have to understand that. And if we go up here to product linking, we'll see product links, which is where we got the individual links earlier. You have the banners, which was the option that I just showed you here. Then you have the native shopping ads, which again, a lot of these are newer ads that Amazon are rolling out and they're trying. Basically, they're ads that update each and every day or each and every week to newer items for you. So you don't have to go in and update the ad every time you do this. Then you have mobile popover. As we all know, the usage of mobile devices has increased dramatically. So what this is, is going to allow you to have like a popover like you see this right here and it'll pop up as you just saw in that little image there it'll pop up the ad from the bottom as someone is scrolling up as you can see here in their little demonstration image again another great ad to use and if you want to use that basically you'll just copy the code here and then paste it in your website or blog and then preview it make sure it works and it'll show a mobile pop-up mobile usage is going to increase more and more as the years progress so we have to understand that this is going to be something that we need to look into because you can earn more by utilizing mobile specific ads so again guys this is just a brief rundown and overview of the amazon associates program and how you can get links to start making money with the Amazon affiliate program, don't forget to visit our website for more online business tips, tricks, news, things like that, www.onlinebusinessrealm.com. We also have a podcast over on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, places like that, also called the Online Business Realm Podcast. Love for you to go over there and subscribe and uh, check it out as well. And guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you guys in the next one.